Now that we are familiar with the three models of acids and bases, we are now going to look at how we can measure the acidity and basicity of a solution. Before we do so, though, let's revisit Arrhenius' model of acids and bases. According to Arrhenius, an acid is a substance that contains hydrogen and ionizes to produce hydrogen ions in solution. A base is a substance that contains a hydroxide group and produces hydroxide ions in solution. Not all acids and bases are of the same strength. Strong acids and bases ionize completely to produce the maximum number of ions. This makes them very good conductors of electricity. For example, hydrochloric acid, or HCl, completely ionizes into hydrogen ions and chlorine ions in solution. Hydrochloric acid, therefore, is a very good conductor of electricity. Weak acids and bases only ionize partially in solution and do not conduct electricity as well. All water solutions contain hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions. The amount of these two ions determines whether a solution is acidic, basic, or neutral. An acidic solution contains more hydrogen ions than hydroxide ions. A basic solution contains more hydroxide ions than hydrogen ions. A neutral solution contains equal concentrations of both ions. Pure water produces equal numbers of hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions in a process called self-ionization. Because of this self-ionization, we can set up an equilibrium expression, and this allows us to calculate the K of water, which is called the ion product constant of water. Experiments show that in pure water at 298 Kelvin, the hydrogen and hydroxide ion concentrations are both equal to 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7th. Therefore, at 298 Kelvin, the value of K of water is 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. Since the product of the hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion concentration always equals 1 times 10 to the negative 14th, if the concentration of the hydrogen ion increases, the concentration of the hydroxide ion must decrease, and vice versa. We can use K of water to perform certain calculations. For example, at 298 Kelvin, the hydroxide ion concentration in a cup of coffee is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 5th. What is the hydroxide ion concentration in the coffee? Once we've determined the hydroxide ion concentration, we can answer the question, is the coffee acidic, basic, or neutral? Because we know the hydrogen ion concentration and are looking for the hydroxide ion concentration, we can use the K of water expression. By inputting our hydrogen ion concentration and using the hydroxide ion as our unknown, we divide both sides of the equation by 1.0 times 10 to the negative fifth and are able to calculate that hydroxide ion concentration is 1.0 times 10 to the negative ninth molar. Now comparing the hydrogen to hydroxide ion concentration, the hydrogen ion concentration is greater and therefore our coffee is an acidic solution. Since the concentration of hydrogen ions are often very small numbers expressed in scientific notation, chemists needed an easier way to express this information. They express concentration of hydrogen ions using the pH scale, which is based on common logarithms. The pH scale ranges from 0 to 14. Any pH less than 7 is considered acidic. pH greater than 7 is basic. And a pH equal to 7 is considered neutral. The pH scale here shows some common uh, household items and where they fall on the pH range. Sometimes a chemist also needs to express the basicity of a solution. In this case, a pOH scale is used that mirrors the relationship between the pH and the hydrogen ion concentration. Looking at the pOH scale, anything greater than 7 is acidic and anything less than 7 is basic, with a pOH of 7 still equating to neutral. We have certain mathematical relationships between pH, pOH, and the ion concentration. We can calculate both pH and pOH using the negative log of the ion concentration. The two items are related by the fact that by adding the pH and the pOH together, it is always equal to 14. 
We can also calculate the ion concentration from either the pH or pOH using the antilog of the negative value. Let's look at an example calculation. A healthy person's blood has a pH equal to 7, or 7.4. Let's calculate the hydrogen ion and the hydroxide ion concentration. The first thing that we can calculate is the hydrogen ion concentration using the antilog of the negative pH. This becomes 10 to the negative 7.4, and our hydrogen ion concentration is 4 times 10 to the negative 8 molar. I stated earlier that the pH and pOH are related by the fact that they're both added together to 14. So if we take 14 and subtract our pH value, we have a pOH value of 6.6. .6. We can now very easily calculate the hydroxide ion concentration by taking the antilog of the negative pOH, which is equal to 2.5 times 10 to the negative 7th molar. We can now see that by having one of the values, we are able to calculate all three of the unknown values.